Welcome back. The concepts of CSS. So in the previous section, we have discussed the concepts of what is CSS, its usage, and how to start with the concept of CSS with HTML. What are the different ways that we can apply the styles to the content of HTML? Those are, we can say, inline, embedded, and external. Now, let's move ahead. In this section, first we will discuss how we can apply different colors. Then commenting concept in CSS. Then custom styling in CSS. Like this. So. Let's write applying the. Colors. When it comes to the concept of color, it can be a text color, it can be a background color, or else it can be a border color like this. But it can be finally something a color where we can apply to the content. So how many colors we have is a question now. There are 200 and 56 colors we have around the web. How these 256 colors are generated or created? With that combination of simply we can say red, green, and OK. Let's do one thing. In the previous examples, we even already applied something colors to the content. And we can also just check it out one of two examples. OK. An external style sheet. If we observe. We are having some red color, green color, gray color, light color background. I mean light blue color. So there are different colors which is already applied. And we have given color red, or we can say background color blue, background color gray, like this. That is a name representation. But around the 256 colors, we can't remember all these names right now. So to implement, we have three different ways. There are three different ways that we can apply. That we can apply. The colors to the content. So what are those? The one that we can see name representation second that we can say numerical representation and the third one that we can say hexa decimal representation a name representation is simply that we can say red Green, blue, pink, violet, cyan, magento, so on. As already we have an idea and we have already applied in the previous examples. Now, numerical representation. This is a combination of RGB of opening closing parenthesis. 
inside this you can just write it is a quantity of red where is zero the quantity of green is zero the quantity of blue is zero which ranges from zero to maximum rgb of 255 255 and 255 why 255 because you are counting from zero right so if you are counting from one you can just say 256 but you are starting from zero so it ranges from zero to 255 a range and of course it's a simple uh, zero 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 means it gives black color defaultly when you go with 255 255 255 it gives white color in the same way rgb of in the range of 0 to 255 it's your wish that you can write any number the quantity of red is 123 the quantity of green is 198 and the quantity of blue is 213 213 this is we will see that example also whereas in the same way the concept or a combination hexadecimal is it starts with hash symbol and minimum three characters or as four characters or as finally one two three four five six six characters what is the character a character can be an alphabet of a to f not a to z or as a combination with zero to nine so let me write here three characters sorry here four characters whereas here six characters what the characters representation here either it can be a lower case of an alphabet a to f or else upper case alphabets of a to f and even it accepts 0 to 9 also the examples that we can write hash a to f it may create something color hash d four f e four characters hash six a d h c d we don't know exactly what color that we are going to get with a combination of it's your wish all the alphabets all the numbers are also accepted it's not a mandatory that you have to write with the combination of alphabets and symbols sorry alphabets and numbers so it's totally your desire i mean which type of color you can also go with all the numbers you can also go with all the characters you can also make it a combination of uppercase and lowercase alphabets at the same time combination with alphabets and digits too there are different points okay to see and to get more clarity let's create a file so i will be just taking this one and let's say As the fifth point that we are discussing applying colors to content dot html as we already started with the concept of external style sheets let's move ahead the rest of the points the rest of the examples the rest of the concepts are also 
with the concept of external style sheets. So in the style sheets folder, I am creating the corresponding name 0, 5 underscore. Here the name is not important. The file name is not important. I mean 0, 5 MC, 0, 5, 0, 1. As you have planned to study and a chronological order, a step by step. Thinking from one step to another step to maintain a proper and easy way to learn. I am just maintaining a number wise with the concept name also. So applying. Colors to. Content dot CSS. Let's just first add this external style sheet into the HTML. How that we can add in the top level. Right here. Link. In the style sheets folder, give a call to apply colors to content. And the concept here is. Let's just update the title which we are discussing. Applying. Colors to. Content. OK, let's even open and keep it ready. The output first. OK, we have headings, subheadings, paragraphs, list of items and so on. OK. Now, let me first write for the body also you can write. Body is also one of the element, right? For the body element, I am writing a background color. As we know, the one that we can say gray or gray or something a different, which is not exactly white and something not exactly different color. Let's create something not exactly too much dark and too much light, something else we are able to see. Then to the total page, as soon as that we have written a body, a body with the total, uh, total content and the page is applying with the given background color property. Whereas we have H1, not only color, we even go and add additional some other points, some other properties also. Let's write a text align. It can be either left, right, justify, end, center. Okay, for timing, if I'm planning to make it center, then let's see. Right. Wherever that we are having H1 to all the headings of H1, it's aligned that particular text in the center of the window. Then font I want to change to the total content. So when you have plan for the total content, irrespective of H1, irrespective of paragraph, anything, but you have planned to something apply a nice font effect. Then you can just apply here font family. You can choose any of these. I'm just choosing for timing Arial, Helvetica and Sans Serif, which is a common and default one. That's good item. Right Previously, we are having a font with uh, what do you say? What your browser or what my browser is having. But now we have changed that into something else. So we have an option. Then additionally, for H1, I'm planning a line height. A line height, I'm just planning, for example, 36 pixels. The meaning of this statement is you are increasing the height of the line. Okay, observe. If I just write here 48, 
observe that means it is giving something space top and bottom of each and every character of h1 i'm saying that okay so now let's even work with the paragraphs list of items and something else Now, to all the paragraphs, I am first writing line height. For example, making 18 pixels setting. Let's just see. Small bit closed. OK. Let's increase to something 24 pixels. Right, something clear. There is small and uh, there is small gap of from one line to another line. Okay, now coming to the point of coloring. Color RGB of one sixty five of red, one ninety eight of green, whereas 135 of blue. See, as soon as that you have written, it is given something a color here. Okay, if it is suits to you, you can use. If it is not suits, just change that number something else here and there. For example, make it something too. Okay, it won't accept because of it's crossing 255. It won't apply. So what I say, for example, two. Let's go to 55. That we can just write now. Okay. Make it something. Okay, better comparing to the previous things. Better we can able to see, I guess. Better. We no need to bother about for each and every time how we can do it. This we can't justify, we can't uh, get a clarity which color code will be given a color exactly what we have expected. This is just a trial and error how that to write the syntax of color using RGB format. In the same way, we have even allies, right? For allies also, I'm just writing line height, 24 pixels. Whereas color, this time I'm going with hexadecimal format. Hash. D, O, F, E, A, B, something else. So just check it out. Okay. That's, but see, we are able to apply something. That's great. Whether it is suitable to that background color, that is later point. Better now, right? now. So overall, we got a clarity here in the above. First, we have given background color with a name of that color. Later, when we plan to apply something color with for the paragraph, we applied with RGB and even for LI with hexadecimal format. Now, let me show you here how you can get more clarity about different colors and how to use that color code and something so on can just search in the Google HTML color codes. Click on images. You will be able to see a number of color palettes. So for example, I'm just opening any of this website. OK, HTML color codes. 
and when you just scroll down here, you are having color palette and which color that you want. I want this one. For example, I'm just clicking on it and I'm just able to see the hexadecimal code, RGB and hue saturation lightness, but we don't go with this very, very rare cases. One percentage chance only. mostly most of the chances we give that is 70 percentage. It's not a percentage just to get a clarity. I've seen that that's more chances, more times that we give preference to hexadecimal format. Second preference is RGB format. OK, and the final, of course, very rare. This is one percent only. We can use which is. This one. Excel is one, sorry, hue, saturation and lightness. Now. This is one way you can just copy this code and you can apply. The another way is. You can search in your Chrome or Firefox or Edge in any of the browser, but suitable is Chrome. Just check in the Google. I. Proper. Or else we can say. Color. Picker. Extension for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, something. So for example, if I just click on this one and I will be getting something else. Where I can just click on color pick, color pick eyedropper. Not only this one can choose any other things also. So if you add this one, what you can just get it, you can just. In the screen which you are able to see. Like this, you be. If your mouse is moving here and there, automatically the color pixel will be changing. And which color, if I want this color, or if I want this color, or if I want this color exactly, then I can just click on it and I can just copy the code and I can just use. Very easier. So we don't need to bother, we don't need to think about how that we can pick up or how to remember all these colors codes. So it is one of the part that we can say how that we can do the concept of what do you say? Color pickering and applying the colors to content. What are those? The three different ways. Right. This is a concept of how to apply the concept of so how the uh, concept or content can get a coloring part. Now. After this. Let's even discuss about the concept of commenting. In CSS. What is a comment? Two things. One. It gives a clear picture about a particular concept to the programmer. And second thing. At that moment, if you don't want to display or if you don't want to execute a particular statement or set of statements. Then you can just. Go with. Commenting. There are two ways here also. What are those? Two ways that you can apply the commenting. One is. Single line comment. Second is. Multi line comment. The single line comment can be written with just two forward slashes and write a statement. The multi line comment can be written with slash star. Any number of lines at the end star slash. So let's just take the same example. And say separate file. Saying that. Commenting in. 
CSS. Let's just, as of now, we are not going to apply anything right now. So we can just plan, we can just see. Some set of statements we are having. And if I don't want this paragraph, then I can just what it is. It is HTML. You should not confuse. If you plan to stop or hide this paragraph, select that particular, not only paragraph, whatever that statement that you want, you are just applying the commenting. Select that particular statement. It, is, it can be a paragraph, it can be a div, it can be H1, it can be image. Just press control question mark. That will be. This is HTML comment. Less than symbol, exclamation, two hyphens, and the statement, and two hyphens, and greater than symbol. This is HTML comment. Once again, I'm saying that. Now, apply CSS. Okay, I will just do one thing. I will just take a copy of this. Copy and paste and name it as zero six commenting in css dot css just link this link the style sheets commenting in CSS. OK, if you just refresh as we have applied something styles, it's great. Now, go to this. If a particular property that you don't want, make it just two forward slashes before that property. Let us check it out now. Right, it's gone away again. I mean, uh, it's now applying the font family which is given to the browser, which is the browser is having. Whereas, if you don't want to apply any style for the total block of an li, select it. Control question mark. Slash star, and the set of statements star slash, and then. When you just apply, that's gone away. That's it. So this is a concept of how you can apply the concept of what do you say? Commenting in CSS. Mostly you preference, maybe even it is single line also select. Control question mark. Go with. This is. That works. OK, so. We are done with the concept of. What is color? How many types of sorry? How many uh, colors that we are having in terms of web related things and how to apply the three different ways? And we have even discussed commenting in CSS. Thank you.